Start Android Phone in Android Studio. Now in this video we are going to learn that how you can set the lab inside Android Studio and how you can start an Android phone. So in the previous video we have seen that we have successfully installed the Nexus virtual machine inside the Android Studio and uh, now we are going to proceed from here. So guys uh, you can open your C drive, click C drive, click on users, then your username, then you can click dot android inside avd you will find this because if you have successfully installed that virtual machine in android machine regarding nexus so you will see both of these files here do one thing copy these files right click first of all you can check the properties of these files it is around 8.35 gb file right so that we have downloaded inside android studio so right click here copy this file come back to your username right and uh, you can click on view to check tick on hidden items so that you will get the app data folder click here click local click android click sdk and click emulator so inside emulator right click here and paste both of those files right here in this folder so click paste here so i have already done it you can see here that this one file is here and one file is available here so both of files have been pasted inside this folder great now I'm going to show you that how you can start your Android phone inside your system. So now you can open your command prompt of Windows operating system. First of all, do one thing, come to this path. So you can type here CD space app data. This is case sensitive, so make sure that this is capital or small letter. So this is the path. A after ASDF, after the username you can go to app data then inside you can go slash local slash android slash sdk and slash emulator right hit enter so the target was to come inside this folder and we are inside this folder now you can see that uh, emulator is there so we need to use emulator to start this machine inside the android phone so you can type here emulator space dash avd space and then you need to copy the name of the virtual machine so we have pasted this and this inside this folder so you can right click here rename it and you can copy the name of this file so till p you can copy it right open here and paste here right so this is the name till underscore p all right so the command is so quite simple emulator space dash avd space the name of the virtual machine and now you can hit enter now you can see that that it is starting your phone your android machine and you just need to wait here so if it is power off so this is the power on button you can click here on the power on button to start it so guys you can see here that uh, the phone the android machine has been started right you can see this is the android machine uh, you can click on this home button to check all the apps or you can drag up to check all the apps available inside it right so it means that we have successfully started our android phone inside our windows operating system so we are going to use this android phone in our later sections as well of android pen testing in which we will we will perform android pen testing on a particular app in this android phone right so you don't need to close this don't close this just minimize it if you close it then this android machine will automatically close so whenever you want to open this android machine come to this folder inside emulator right and uh, just come to the particular path of the folder inside emulator and type emulator space dash avd space then your nexus machine name maybe you won't have copy underscore off underscore your name will start from nexus so you just need to copy the name here whatever name here just paste here and hit enter and power on it if it is not power on automatically right so it will start and just minimize this and you can use your 
Android phone. So this is all about how you can start your Android inside Windows machine. In the next video we are going to learn that how you can download and install an APK file inside that Android phone. Thank you so much guys.